रहमान रहीम अस्सलाम वालेकुम सो देयर वाज अ क्यूरी अबाउट क्रिएटिंग ए ड्राइवर फॉर द कार और एनी अदर व्हीकल इन आरसीसी सो यू कैन सी दैट इफ वी हैव हैव वेरियस कार्स इन आरसीसी सो दिस इज बाय डिफॉल्ट दिस इज सैंपल सीन सो यू कैन सी दैट वी हैव द स्टीयरिंग व्हील and it's uh, absolutely good but if uh, you want to add a character here as well then how we can do that so for the steering wheel if you create some other car and you want to have a steering wheel then you can select the car and here in the basic settings you can see this field of steering wheel so you can just uh, select the mesh of your car uh, that the mesh of steering wheel from the car and you can drag of that inside this field also you have to do steering wheel rotation to z axis okay also you should see uh, before adding this steering wheel to your uh, this field you should know that if you will click on this rotation tool and if you will rotate the wheel it should rotate like this okay sometimes uh, it's not rotating like this we have certain problem with meshes so that mesh will not be suitable for this purpose so now let's see how we will add the character so with the rcc we have one uh, one car here uh, with the name of remy uh, model sufi uh, sofi so if we focus on this model you can see that if we ju just play this model you will see that uh, we have a nice character inside this car and uh, actually this driving the car okay so that's great so how we can add this uh, car to any other vehicle uh, this character to any other vehicle so we have this character definitely you can change the character as well so for now i will just uh, duplicate our another vehicle so let's suppose i will just go for jeep i think jeep is good one so let's see how we can see our jeep uh, so yeah but uh, this jeep is not uh, open type of jeep and we can't see the character although we can uh, change the camera to see the character as well but uh, i will just uh, check some other vehicle so maybe bus or uh, buggy yeah this one is good so if we i think buggy is good because it uh, should be yeah you can see that it is totally we can visible the character will be visible and we can press c to uh, focus on the hood camera as well okay so let's see how we will do that so i will just uh, duplicate the buggy here so let's uh, create a duplicate so control d for duplicate and uh, for the original buggy i will just uh, make it on hide and i will just uh, rename it to uh a buggy with character okay uh, so that's nice so now uh, we can actually i will not uh, override everything because it will override the original prefab and before doing anything else i will just create a prefab for this buggy okay so let's add a prefab here original prefab and then i will just uh, so now if uh, we uh, work with this uh, buggy it will affect this prefab not the other one okay so that's beautiful so now if we play let's uh, recheck it again so the yeah that's nice okay so now uh, we will just add the character so if we open this uh, section and before uh, doing any customization i will just right click and i will just go to prefab and unpack uh, this prefab completely then i will just go to this model and uh, let's uh, 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 show this model and then prefab and unpack this prefab as well okay so here we have a inside 
model Sufi we have a chassis and inside the chassis we have this model of Sufi driving with by bumps drum okay and this model contains the animator controller and uh, the main avatar or the mesh you can say okay so if you will extend this you will find the mesh as well here okay so how we will uh, solve the uh, how we will add this model to the other vehicle so let's select this uh, model and we can just duplicate it control d to duplicate and i will just drag drop this model inside our buggy with character okay so i will just add it to this uh, buggy maybe okay okay so now i will just uh, hide the main thing we don't want to customize that now anymore I have a nice model inside our car so now if we play the car you will see that it will be totally messed up because uh, you can see that uh, yeah, actually c we will press c to see and one more important thing is that uh, the there will be two hood cameras because one hood camera is uh, belongs to uh, this model itself okay so i will just select the model and press f to focus and now we will do some settings so first of all we will see that uh, we have a nice character over here and actually it uh, it is placed uh, at the right position as well but you can see that we have the uh, we have this uh, body for this character okay so inside this model we have the base so let's hide this base and now you can see that we have only uh, this uh, steering wheel and the character okay so now you can see that we have nice character so let's move this character now so we'll select the sufi and we will just uh, place this character at the right position so maybe maybe like this okay and uh, maybe like this a little bit uh, left side okay and now actually we can hide the other steering wheel as well if you don't want uh, to uh, show this wheel you can just hide it as well okay and now we have the uh, newer wheel which uh, will come with this character okay and uh, character asset and now if we play the game see what will uh, how it will look like so yeah you can see that we have a nice character but you can see that it's not animating at all okay so why it's not animating at all so let's see how we will do that we will solve the issue also the body of uh, this car is a little bit uh, small i think uh no it's fine we can see this thing actually which i was considering as a head but that was not a head okay so now what else we will do is that we will select the buggy with character the main main section and we will add a, uh, a component on this and we will select the rcc animator controller component uh, on the top of everything okay so now here you can see that we have an animator and uh, we have other things so here in the animator section uh, we will actually uh, select this uh, buggy character uh, where it is inside the buggy and uh, yeah this one okay the main thing so what we will do because this has the character controller okay so now uh, we will select this main uh, buggy with character and then we will drag drop uh, this inside the uh, inside this field okay that's great also we need some settings here so we can actually uh, go to the original model where it is uh, i will just uh, hide everything and now we'll just go to the original model and we can you can see this animator controller so i will just copy 
uh, this component okay copy the component and we can go to the buggy with character and we can paste the component okay so pa paste component values so now paste component values are added but this model can be the different one which we don't need okay so we'll just explore the buggy and again we will just drag off this this model okay so now the animations should work on the character hopefully so let's play maximized and uh, let's check that so yeah you can see that yeah you can see we have nice animations as well for the character definitely i'm not going in detail for setting up the head and other things but you can see that everything working fine if you press c you can see the hood camera is uh, somewhere uh, where we don't want because there are two hood cameras are added to the uh, vehicle okay which we don't need and we only need one camera so what we can do is that uh, inside uh, let's say check how we can solve this issue uh, so in the buggy itself we should have a hood camera yeah this one so uh, cc hood camera and if uh, for example buggy with character connected body is buggy with character rigid body that is fine and we also have a hood camera inside this character uh, the model and uh, uh, connected body model Sufi driving with by bombs okay yeah so what we will do here we will actually place the uh, this buggy model okay here buggy with character okay this is important the now the hood camera will detect that uh, character okay and that buggy name correct manner and now actually uh, for the main hood camera we can just uh, hide this camera and let's see what will happen so okay that's great see yeah you can see that now we have successfully added the hood camera at the right position and you can see the hands and everything is done okay press c press c definitely i have created a video on rcc where i have described that how you can add different uh, cameras from the different angles so although you can see the hood camera if you want to adjust this hood camera uh, you can simply uh, go to the uh, character itself and you can select the hood camera in the scene view and now you can see the hood camera okay so hood camera is here so you can actually move the hood camera you can place the hood camera at your desired position okay so it's up to you i will just place it at the uh, same position maybe and now you can see that the camera is changed oh yes now it's great yeah beautiful so now you can see that we have successfully added a character and uh, we have added the animated character so, okay so that's it uh, now you can see that we have a nice car and we have a nice driver definitely you can change the mesh as per your need if you want to do so and uh, that's it that's great so i hope uh, this uh, uh, video will be uh, tutorial will be useful for you and uh, if you like the video please subscribe and share the video goodbye